So previous work from our lab has shown that creating discordances between what you feel on your body surface and where you see your body surface to be um, leads to illusions where the self is. However, we haven't studied the brain mechanisms of this. So this is um, the first two experiments that we have, have carried out using EEG together with virtual reality and well-controlled bodily stimulation. We control what the subject sees. And this is one of the key part of the experiments because we will control what the subject sees, but we will also control what the subject feels at the same time. And as the next step of the video shows, is that we manipulate this link between feeling and seeing bodily input. Now there's another important part, and this is related to something we call the first person perspective. I have a first person perspective at the moment into this direction towards the camera. Now within this virtual scene we have full control also over the first person perspective. So we can switch, and this is part of the experiment, my first person perspective from here to the position in the virtual scene, let's say, of the camera facing me, being 180 degrees rotated and looking at me. So what we see in these EEG experiments, based on this experiment I've just explained, but in also in a related experiment in standing uh, participants, is a dedicated network that fuses and merges how we feel and how we see our body. Um, this dedicated network consists of three key elements, the temporal parietal cortex, which is about in this region. There is another region between both frontal lobes in medial prefrontal cortex, and also visual cortex is involved in this, in either hemisphere, on the right and the left side of the brain. Under the conditions that visual information of the avatar matches my own bodily input of touch of the participant's body, whenever this is applied synchronously at the same time and at the corresponding space, um, these three areas I mentioned will fire in a specific way. Now with our setup we can dissociate those mechanisms of feeling and touch stimuli to my body. And when this is not synchronously applied, congruently applied, activity is lowered in this region. So one could say that this activity monitors incarnation, if you want, self-representation, presence at these different avatars. But of course for us a key question is here that similar mechanisms of incarnation are at work putting myself inside my bodily uh, borders in the first place, in normal conditions. So the links between um, body representation and self have traditionally been studied by psychologists and philosophers. Now what, what, what my data, our research shows is that neuroscientists can study this. We can study this in different ways than before. We can link it to body representation directly in the brain. We can manipulate, manipulate those representations. And the field that is very of, of great interest for me is how can this be applied to neurorehabilitation, to the development of neural prosthetics, but also to fields of virtual reality research and uh, robotics.